Hello and welcome to our software tutorial series. In this tutorial, you will learn how to complete setup options and register the software. Upon the initial use of the program, the setup options dialog box must be completed with information about your office and system, such as network, printers, communication methods, and more. The software uses the information and setup options in many ways. Therefore, it is critical that you type this information accurately. If you are not sure the information is correct, you should revisit setup options to verify and correct the information. To access setup from within the software, you will first click the Tools menu, and then click Utility Setup Options. In Utility, you will now click the Setup menu, and then click Setup Options. By default, the software displays the Company tab of the Setup Options dialog box. The Company tab allows you to define basic information about your site, such as your Electronic Filer Identification Number, or EFIN, your name, the name of your company, and your address. The telephone number, the employer identification number, the service bureau name, and the merchant services ID are not required to be completed. The site information entered on the setup screen is used in the client letters and it also displays on reports. If the software is installed on the network, select the Save as Workstation Defaults checkbox to ensure that all settings carry to each workstation on the network. You can click the Save as Workstation Defaults checkbox at any point in the setup process. Click the Next button to go to the General tab. The software displays the General tab of the Setup Options dialog box. The General tab allows you to configure your network options, set your current e-file ID number, manage the way you would like the software to number your invoices, and manage miscellaneous options. If your computer is not attached to any other computer, Select the No Network radio button. No Network is selected by default. If you are using the software on multiple computers, or over a network of any kind, select the Network radio button. If you are using multiple non-networked computers, you must preset the DCN and submission ID on each computer prior to tax season by estimating the number of returns you will prepare on each machine and entering the current DCN and submission IDs far enough apart to prevent duplication. There is a designated entry for both the DCN and Submission ID. There are then three options for you to choose as to how you would like the software to manage your client invoices. If you select Do Not Auto Number, you may manually enter a number on each invoice within each tax return, or you may leave the number entry blank. If you select Automatic Numbering only on My Local Computer, you may change the starting number by entering a different number in the box labeled Start My Local Invoice Number With. If you are using multiple computers, select Auto Number All Invoices, making each unique across the network. Select any or all of the following miscellaneous options. Enable Auto Complete for entries with history lists allows you to type the first character or first few characters of an entry, and the software auto completes the entry for you. Display user defined and auto populated history lists. By default, user-defined and auto-populated history lists are turned off, meaning that you cannot see them unless you activate this option. When you select this option, the software makes these lists available to you. This option does not affect your ability to see and use predefined history lists, such as relationship to you for dependents. Automatically display history lists cause the history list to display automatically when you are on the entry. Prompt before closing the software. By default, this checkbox is selected and causes the software to display a confirmation box when you click the X in the upper right corner of the program or use any other Windows method of closing the program. Selecting Yes will close the software normally. Selecting No will close the confirmation box and return you to the software. Click the Next button to go to Printer Setup tab. The Printer Setup tab determines the default behavior of many of the software functions. These include selecting a default printer method, selecting a default printer, and selecting options to activate on the default printer. Select the default printer setting by doing one of the following. If you use an inkjet printer, or if you have no problems with Windows printing, select Windows. If you have experienced problems with Windows printing, select PCL, Printer Control Language. If using PCL, 
select the option to auto-load soft fonts each time a tax return is sent to the printer. This ensures that laser forms print correctly when using PCL. Select the default printer for the Returns Report option by selecting a printer from the drop-down list. Your default Windows printer will automatically be selected for you. Windows generates this list of printers based on what is installed to your system. If your site prints labels, select the printer from the drop-down list. Select additional printer options that you want to activate from the Options section. Selecting the Print Blank page after each return option inserts a blank sheet between returns when you print more than one. Some states require that form data be typed in all capital letters. Selecting the Print Tax Returns in All Capital Letters option automatically prints your type data in all capitals, regardless of how you entered it. By default, returns are grouped by EFIN in Management Reports. Selecting the If You Have More Than One, Print Each EFIN on Separate Report Pages option inserts a page break between EFINs. If you select the Print Each Rejected Social Security Number on a Separate Page option, the software prints reject messages for each return on a separate page when you print IRS acknowledgments that involve rejected returns. Select the Automatically Print Form 9325 as each IRS tax return is acknowledged option to print Form 9325, Acknowledgement and General Information for Taxpayers Who File Returns Electronically for each accepted return at the time you process the acknowledgement. If you select the Automatically Print Acknowledgements option, Acknowledgement Reports would auto-print at the conclusion of auto-processing. If this option is not selected, the program will not auto-print the acknowledgement reports, but the acknowledgement files would still be auto-processed and update the database and return statuses accordingly. Click the Next button and go to the Color Setup tab. The Color Setup tab allows you to change the on-screen colors of tax forms and entries in the software. The default without color coding setting is selected as the default. Click the Finish button. The software displays the Register Software dialog box. To register the software, use the following steps. Verify your EFIN in the EFIN Customer Number field and press the Tab key. Type your registration code in the Registration Code box. Click the OK button. In this tutorial, you have learned how to complete the setup options and register the software. Thank you for viewing this tutorial.